we will study another term today line integral of electric field what does it mean line integral of electric field in this there is a multiplication of two quantities and these two quantities are electric field and the length a path length there are two points a to b and this is a path a charge travel through this path so these lines are showing electric field and with this we can find out at this point at this point at this point at all the different points direction of electric field is different the magnitude of electric field is different then what we do this red line uh, at every point we want to find out e multiplied by the length but e is changing since uh, first thing again line integral of electric path what do i want i want e multiplied by length of the path why because just now we have studied that dv is equal to e into dr what is this electric field and what is this length of the path potential difference so i am interested in this quantity electric field multiplied by length of the path now this is a electric field which is not a uniform electric field which is a non uniform electric field every point it's changing this length is not in one direction sometimes it is like this sometimes it is like this sometimes it is like this so how to find it what we do at any given point at any given point let us say this we take a very small length this this is dl at this point dl and electric field they make certain angle and this angle is theta theta so which component of dl is along e the answer dl cos theta if this is theta then this component is this component is or if i say from this point to this point is dl this is dl then this component is dl cos theta which is along e and for potential difference i want electric field and the distance which is in the direction of e i take it this way in the other words you can say if this is dl here is d here is this is direction of e this is angle theta i take a component of e in the direction of dl how much this will be e cos theta now here if i multiply then i will take e full and dl this dl is how much do i take answer i take here dl cos theta dl cos theta so here i do the multiplication of e into dl cos theta here i do the multiplication of this is dl this length red one and this is e this is e cos theta dl multiplied by e cos theta in both the cases what is the multiplication result e dl cos theta in this case e dl cos theta same so this we have done in uh, scalar product of uh, two vectors e and dl are two vectors if they are brought in line e in the line of dl or dl in the line of e then product is always e dl cos theta okay so everywhere we keep on doing this multiplication 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 from point a to b then what will be the line integral line integral is equal to e dl cos theta and integration of this from a to b this is 
line integral of uh, electric field. This is line, this is integral, this is electric field. So, line integral of electric field is E dl cos theta or we can say E dot dl. This is A to B. This is known as integration E dl and what is this? This is potential difference. So, this is potential difference from point B to point A because the final is B, initial is A. If we want to make it V A minus V B, then put a minus here, negative of line integral of electric field. So, in A line integral of electric field. is equal to negative of line integral of electric field this. So, this is V A minus V B. So, so far what we have done V potential difference is equal to A to B work done from B to A work done up to A from B divided by charge. This is the one formula. Other we have done potential difference that is a very small potential difference dV that is equal to E into dr where dr is the difference between the two points where we are measuring potential difference. This or the same formula we can write in the other form E is equal to minus dV by dr. Third thing now we have done that is V A minus V B that is V A B is equal to line integral A to B that is E d l and what is the text we write for this? The potential difference between two points A and B is negative of line integral of electric field. So, so far we have done this much. So, this is all formulas of electric field uh, potential difference unit and dimensions we have done. Now, in the next lecture we will see if we are always calculating potential difference, then what is the relation of this potential difference with the charge which is creating electric field and in that electric field we have the potential difference. Understand if there is no electric field, the strength of electric field is 0, potential difference is 0. If there is no electric field, there is no potential difference. So, Potential difference only comes to existence between the two points which have to be there in electric field. Okay. So, this is potential difference. Now, electric field is created by a charge. So, the charge which has created this electric field and from the distance of this source charge, the electric field keep on decreasing, decreasing, decreasing this. Then what will happen to potential difference? Potential difference at this point, potential difference at this point, potential difference at this point. How potential difference is related to the distance from charge Q? This we will study in the next class. Thank you.